That airplane is really loud. It's pulling the camping all the time. Yeah, that is extremely annoying. All right, the plane has moved away a little bit. We aren't planning on getting a new RV, you know, in the next year or so. That's what Brian thinks. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> but uh, when we get another RV, it will be a fifth wheel. Yeah. It and will. we uh, we've been looking around online a lot at uh, floor plans, bunkhouse floor plans for fifth wheels and tra um, toy haulers, and now, I'm not impressed by most of them. Just to back up, why are we looking for fifth wheels? Because these children won't stop growing. Oh, apparently we're on the tram route. Yeah. <laughs> when all the children were tiny, we could fit in any type of layout. Yeah. These kids keep growing. Yep. We need more space for yeah. them, not for us. And like you said, the kids are definitely growing. Um, <laughs> all right, that's, that's recognition number one right there. <laughs> if you ever see us out and about anywhere, let us know. Yeah, just just right. yell at us. <laughs> we like it. I am so sick of that plane. Yeah, the plane is not. You're camping too loud! You're too loud, Camping World. Good <laughs> lord. Alright, so this is a Durango Gold, right? Durango Gold G382MBQ. Uh, we've done a lot of looking online at floor plans yeah. for fifth wheels, and this one made a short list. Yep. So let's look at the because floor plan. Because it has something different than none of the other ones have. Yeah, so it's a mid bunk here. There's also a patio, which is kind of neat because you could turn this into like an open air work area yeah. in the back. Uh, so that kind of caught my eye. One so, bed, one bathroom. One, ba which is a, which it's, is fine. it's okay. It's fine. I mean, we have the bath and a half now, so we're used to it. Yeah. But yeah. So coming in, so one of the things you said when we were looking at the photos was the tight entrance. So but yeah. It's not as tight. But, I mean, you're walking into a wall. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. It's big. There's some lighter elements in here, but it's still got that dark would look yeah it's heavy looking especially up high that's a lot of well, a lot no of dark up there no struts what is up with these guys oh that has struts it, well it it's does, not it struts it's got though. uh like springs in the okay yeah um stupid balances yeah <laughs> they have like the shades though they have day and night shades right which is nice and they're not too too bulky oh and there's a light switch you can nice and then a ceiling yeah. fan. I always appreciate moving air. And so this has, is okay. So it's basically a sliding door, yeah. right? So this is solid, right? That part is so and sliding all the way. That is glass, but doesn't move, right? Yeah. So it's like a residential sliding door. Yeah, just on the back end of your. On house. the back. Okay. But it closes up when you're right. on, underway. Right. Of so course. It's of course. Not, it's yep. nice that there's an awning out here. Oh yeah. And then. There and there's there's lights there's lights too. on the out, outer edge of the awning too. Yeah, so there's speakers nice. out here. Solid steps. There's power. And coax. Cable. Okay, so the ladders on the side. Yep, speakers, a light there. Yeah, and then you do lighting have here. Ingress and egress from here. Yeah, and then a little barrier. Okay. I like this. Okay. I like this. It's nice. It's a nice little outside area. Both of these swivel around. Whoa. I'm assuming they're not attached. Whoa. Yeah, these are just sitting. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah, good. Okay. So, bigger TV than what we've had. Oh, wait, hold on. These both. They recline? I think so. Yeah, it looks like they recline. Okay, nice big TV. No storage behind? No, no okay. storage behind. Storage under, though, so you can fit PlayStation yeah. or Xbox and stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Cabinets about, well, that's a lot of space. That's a lot of space. I think I would subdivide those. Stuff would get lost up in there. Yeah. Put a shelf through the middle. Mm hmm. I got a residential fridge. With a water dispenser, a nice dispenser. And a nice big cabinet up top. Some of your lighter stuff. Good size island. A dishwasher. Okay, good dishwasher. A dishwasher? Yep. And convection, nice. Okay. Huh? I don't want to turn this light on. Oh, yeah, for sure. So this is the mid bunk. So we've got a couch, no no bunk. So they call this a bonus room, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's not really a bunk house. Yeah. There's a I mean, light but, here, but I can't get it turned. I don't know. Does it the, the, look, push the center of it? There you go. Very Woo, that's okay. great. Now we have light. Wow. So you could take that out. So we would like build bunks in here. And put bunks in here. And yeah. take these balances off. Balances are huge, man. Yeah. 
They're as wide as my camera. There's storage. There's enough storage in here to put baskets yeah. for clothing There's and plenty stuff. Of room. There's nothing in there though. Is that the stairs to the loft? Yes. Okay. Stairs to the loft? What? Yeah, they're up, up there. Yeah. Uh, so that TV could could be a lot bigger. But yeah, there's a lot of... Yeah. This is not, not, not terrible. terrible. And if it's just for the littles. Yeah, the littles, they have plenty of floor space. Yeah. Again, the flip and register on the floor. Yeah, Don't put registers what, on the floor. You can, you can uh, some people like wrap those in pantyhose. Yeah, Other people put debris, like, yeah. um, you can buy like replacement window screens. Yeah. And glue them or whatever to the bottom just There's to capture stuff. There's ways around it. It just, yeah. it's kind so, of silly. It has all of your dust and dirt just goes yeah. down in it. So let's uh, work our way around. Damn tree. Ooh. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. With a light. Probably you know what though? I like that pantry better than the one we have. Yeah. Because those those really deep pantry stuff just gets lost. Yeah, it does just get lost. So there's an open area. And then little coat. So I'd rather have that storage in the other room. Yeah. Normal stairs. But okay, so there's the stairs up into the loft. That's a good size. So we've talked about these lofts, about putting a smaller mattress, like a smaller, like a twin size width, and then putting like Ikea shelving on one side. Yeah. That would definitely work in there. It's it's not- It's tight. Tara it's not very to it tall this way. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Let's talk about making this bed. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> no. you can't get the mattress. Nope. Like, no. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be tight. Most of them are. That, that bottom step is really tight too. So these, these dual shades are nice and thin. It's a good size bathroom. It's a nice bathroom. Yeah. And look at all the storage there. Does it go all the way back? Uh, no, not all the way. There's something else on the other side. Um, little radius sink, or a uh, scoopy sink. More storage here storage down there. Are these all soft clothes? They're soft clothes, but they're not quite heavy enough to... Oh, did you turn the fireplace off? I turned, I turned the it heat off on the fireplace. In here. It still looks pretty. But... So I saw this in the photos. It's like a little shelf thing. So I normally sleep on this side of the bed. So that would work for a CPAP because there's power right there. So that's not bad. And it's a barn door in here. Right, with exposed hardware. So it looks nice. What else we got in here? Walk-in closet. I'm assuming there's washer dryer prep in here somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. these are very flimsy. Wiggly wobbly. Now are they flimsy because they we're at a show and someone's knocked them off the rails? They're like this big, so yeah. they're like. I see washer dryer hookups right there. There's a little. Oh, that's not a step. That's a show. Huh? What's up? Yeah, so washer dryer prep, and then these go out there, and then there's like a little like. I don't know what that is. Shoe shelf? Sure. She shells? Shoe shelf? That's oh, shoes. That's a hamper. That's, oh, I would put shoes in here. You can put shoes in there. It's <laughs> called a built-in hamper, oh. but uh, that's like a day of clothes That's a us. day of clothes with <laughs> Yeah, good size. So there's something yeah. up in the nose up there. I would definitely just toss all my shoes in there. There's no one yeah. on the floor. And then this is nice. We do, wow, we do like the uh, fireplace in here. Because when you have the fireplace out there, it doesn't quite warm up the bedroom. Yeah. Especially if you have to leave the door closed to like keep the dog from sleeping with you. Yeah. So did you show that this Not bad. goes up? Oh, it does tilt. Yeah, it's a tilt bed. So when it's untilted, I imagine it comes, it comes out. out to here, but you can keep yeah. it like this during the day. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So there's things I like. Things I like, things I don't. Uh, the mid bunk is a little there. The loft above it's a little weak. I like the patio a lot. Yes, the patio. Because then you good. have big glass on the back. And you have that patio to hang out on if you want yeah. to. But you also don't lose all that space if you can't open it. Because you know, like the ones that have the side patios, you don't have, there's you no storage. There's space. no anything there. And back there, there's storage above that patio. Mm -hmm. So you're not losing anything by having it drop out. Yeah. Or if you can't open it. Yeah. yeah. So I like it. Yeah. Not too bad. 
Well, this is a good way to start the second Tampa video. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Rachel. Look at these. I'm Joe. Joe. What's the two up, crazy? guys? Okay, are you still the two crazy ketos or just crazy campers? We're both. We're both. both. Okay. So we have both. Two crazy ketos is our primary channel. Yep. But then when we started RVing and camping, we started two crazy campers. Okay. So we're doing both. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And, and they're also road runners. Yay! Yes, Yay! Yes, we are. <laughs> well, here's the thing: is that like when we started really looking at RVs, your channel was the primary channel yes. that we started watching because you're like a family. Yeah. Your, your love values that. are very much like, like ours. Like a family. Like a family. Yeah. Like a family. <laughs> very nearly a family. We just pretend to be one. Yeah, the final yeah. part was. We had to pay a lot for I'm those still trying right. to teach her to ha get her to open a black tank, and she won't do it. No. Uh, well, no. Aaron's never done it either. Yeah. No. Really? No. I've actually, I've, we've actually thought of it. And you guys, leave a comment down below if you want to see this. Uh. <laughs> I was going to have Aaron sit down and watch my old instructional videos and then go outside and he, do all that stuff. He, what do you he's think? He's dreaming, right? What yeah. do you think? He's dreaming. Leave a comment down below. Do you want to see Aaron do black tanks and put away sewer? What do you no. think? Nobody no stinky yeah. slinky for these ladies. No. Oh, come no. on. Come on. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. It'll happen. He just keeps <laughs> adding layers of like, look, there's gloves and I've got like, you know, instant hand sanitizer and I'm yeah. making basically a coffee bar by the stinky slinky and still no. no. Absolutely no. no. It's not hard. It's not hard. We're going to do it. Leave, leave a comment. I had to shave my face. So you, you did. can. You did. You, oh. can, you can play with some sewer stuff. Leave a comment, yeah, it'll happen. Nah. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we have a question for you guys. Sure. Okay, so we're asking everybody we meet. Uh-huh. You're going on an RV trip for two weeks. Okay. Mm. okay I know you guys are full-timers, but you're yeah. going for two weeks. Uh-huh. What is the one item that if you forgot it, you were either going home or running to the store to buy it? You mean other than like medication? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um, like, like. That's a good question. Uh, that's for the Jeopardy da, music, da, yeah. Da, yeah. <laughs> she knows what's up. The Jeopardy. Um, um, Wait, you said he can't go and go to the store? No, or you would go and Or go. Like oh. you would buy another one? Like her, for her, her, it was a coffee, coffee maker. Because I drink coffee for Joe's You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to secure my position as the prophet of the zero G hose. Yes. If I, if I forgot my zero G hose, my yes. I am going straight to the store and buying another one. Yes. Yes. yes he absolutely. Would. We and found that because as, of you and uh, looked everywhere yeah, for it. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Good luck finding one, but uh, don't get the two. Walmart one. No. Don't get the, the Walmart, Walmart one. one is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. So the zero G hose. If and if if like if a if a weed whacker came by and nicked it and it was spraying water, I would immediately go and buy another one. Yeah. It's I, the best hose. I would mm. have to agree that that yeah. like even we've enjoyed it and we yeah. tried the Walmart one and no, yep. don't try to that, cheap out on that it. That became like, the black hose. Yeah. 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 That's what Sean did. That's what yeah. one of yeah. our other red runners did. Yeah. Um, okay, Aaron. Oh, we're doing two. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yours is gonna be way different than mine. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Probably blankets, just because. It's always colder in the rig than you think it's going to be. Yeah. Yes. So and if I forgot them, I would either turn around or I would buy more. And, uh, you know, it's nice having the AC, but what you don't realize when you're in a house is that you're this far from the AC vent all the time. Yeah. Because yes. it's right it's above right you. right above you. Yeah. So even though it might be like 90 outside, it can get really cold right yeah. under an AC yeah. vent. So yeah. blankets would be what I would yeah. buy. Blankets. I think that that one is actually really good because you forget the fact that these things are made so light yeah. that like if it's hot, you feel hot. And if it's cold outside, you're cold inside yeah. no yeah. matter what it's not a, it's not totally insulated to like withstand temperatures yeah. funny story yeah. we actually went camping and we forgot our pillows yes wow. forgot your and, pillows and, and oh. we forgot yeah, pillows because we had that we had the pop-up at the time oh and oh, i had to drive all the way home it was an hour and a half <laughs> yeah because she's like we'll go to the store and buy some i said i'll go to the store and buy some and she's like we are not spending money on pillows when there's like a hundred of them. Well, then I need so many. I need leg pillow oh, and I head did. pillow. Okay. And... But, but devil's advocate, how much did you spend on gas to go home and get oh, them? Oh, very true. Oh, probably more money. Than <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> there you go. Probably. But, the, but, but our pillows had my head dent in it. True. My, my leg dents. True. I need that. True. That's important. Yeah.